I told you that Packaging Innovations was six shows in one and printing and labels is a massive part of this industry. And I'm joined from Dantex Group with Simon here. It's great to see you, Simon. And this behind me and you is really quite impressive. Tell me all about it. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Dantex Group Pico Color uh, UV Inkjet Press. Um, this is fairly unique in the marketplace, and especially in the mid-range of the marketplace, because a lot of people use older toner technology and we're using UV inkjet, which allows us to be able to print on a wide variety of substrates. Okay, so let talk me through how this actually works sure, then. No problem at all. Like the front end, you have the, the material, so we could probably hold on to this, uh, on this press around about 2,000 2, metres of material. And is it specific material or can you use any type of material under there? You can there? use a massive variety of material, all the standard sort of flexo stocks that you can use. And we can even print onto things like Tyvek material, which is a, like a fabric material as well. Um, so the substrate comes through the machine. It goes through what we call a Corona treater. And then it goes through a, a web guide. And then within this box here, basically, we have five. The magic. Is that the where magic, the magic like, happens? The magic ink box <laughs> in there is uh, five colours. So you have cyan, magenta, yellow and black plus white. We can print white on, on this press as well. So people have like clear substrates. We, we provide a white on there that is to about the standard of the same sort of standards if you're screen printing as well. So it's sing, single pass, as we call it. So it's a very high standard, very high quality uh, printing that we have on here. Because it's um, singular, does it mean that it's quite e e eco-friendly because you only have to pass it through one? Well, there's that to it as well. And as a, as a digital press, you're not using plates like traditional presses used to do as well. So for very short runs, uh, we also have the ability to have variable data on there. So if you wanted something different on the labels, each one could be different. So you've got a fantastic variety that you can print on here that you can't really do on, on standard presses. Wow, that's really impressive. Okay, so they make their way through here when they've gone through uh, the, magic the magic box, <laughs> which is going to be its new name, I can tell. Um, and so they make their way through there. Um, so what we've got on this press, which once you get, again is uh, fairly unique, is that when it, when it gets, gets printed, it comes through here and it goes through what we call a cutting station. So as you can see here, when it comes through the cutting station, what it does is it cuts all the edges round the label. So That's brilliant, Simon, because it's so time consuming, isn't it? Especially in business and in industry. And you want to be able to cut that time down as well as your costs. And actually, that's reducing manpower and, and time, and, and it's very efficient. Yeah, you're absolutely spot on because what you have here, then, you have finished labels that they could go straight out to the customer, and then you have the waste taken off as well. So you're quite right to say normally, a lot of time people would do this element, what we call finishing, offline, but that would mean another setup another time consuming as you've just pointed out as well uh, so talk to me i'm sorry to ask no. this question but talk to me about the waste because we're at the show um it's a big big focus on moving forward in the industry isn't it yeah. um so do does the consumer does the owner of this uh, whoever buys it whatever company yeah, get yeah. rid of this waste or do yeah. you guys work together with them on that it's really down to all the owners have been used to for many many years is using what we call the, the matrix which is the, this edge here so the edge trim, they're used to getting rid of that in a very environmental uh, way. Um, one of the big benefits from the environmental perspective regarding digital labels, as, as we've said, normally analog or a, um, a traditional press will probably be, could be up to four or five times the size of this. So you put in probably double the amount of materials or even triple the amount of materials just to set up and get the first print. So there's a lot of wastage there as well. So you'll be cutting down on wastage when it comes to digital printing as well. Fantastic. Well, you, this is such a great addition to the show. Um, if you want to know more about it, come and see Simon.